Okay, everybody, good morning. Hope everybody had a uh, nice couple of days. G, thanks for taking the time. Meredith, we can start with you on the right. Say it again. Yeah, no, go ahead. You're all right. Giancarlo, now that you know who you guys are playing, what do you think of the matchup with the Guardians? Uh, it'll, it'll be good. Um, uh, they'll come here for two games, and, uh, you know, we're familiar with them, not as much as we are with Tampa, but, um, you know, we had a couple good series, so, um, yeah, it's go time. How do you feel about where you're at right now? It seemed like you started to get hot offensively towards the end of the season. I feel good. I've uh, been getting some good work in these past couple of days, and um, today and tomorrow, so uh be ready to go eric and dan john carlo when you look at the uh, the guardians particularly their their pitching staff what stands out to you uh it's a tough group over there um you know you got a lot of guys throw hard um pound the zone so um the it'll be a good matchup i think we match up well against them and um yeah we got to put it to them Dan, to the right again. Giancarlo, uh, it seems like no, no matter how you finish the season, a regular season, you, you're able to perform well in the playoffs. What do you attribute that to, your success in the in the postseason so far in your career? Uh, it's the most important time of the year. Got to figure it out. Yeah, it doesn't matter how good or bad you felt the previous five, six months. Um, uh, it's it's win or go home, and it's, it's uh, the most important time. So... Um, and that's in the past. I have a new new uh, playoffs coming up, and uh, I got to take care of it. Ron, front right. What are the differences you find in your swing when it's going well versus when it's misfiring? Uh, I say my balance is off. Um, my... Uh, uh, once my balance is off, uh, picking up pitches and adjusting um, in flight uh, isn't uh, the way I'd like it to be. And, um, you know, that's just when I get thrown off. Who else? Back to Eric, to the right. Jack Carlo, it's been a, a few years since you've had a, a home game in the postseason at Yankee Stadium. How is Yankee Stadium different in the playoffs than during the regular season? Uh, this place is wild. Um, it's wild already, but once once playoffs start, it's uh, right when right when the na the anthem is over. It's it's uh, it's a, the best environment in baseball for sure. So um, I'm excited for that. Anyone else? Brian to the left. Giancarlo, a couple of guys were talking about in spring training, you guys got together in Aaron Boone's office and kind of talked about your, your goals for the year. Were you in that? And what do you think that did for this team? Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, I think it just gave us a baseline, gave us a, a foundation on on everything we wanted to accomplish and and get done. Uh, and that that's, that's exactly where we're at now. Um, you know, this is part of... Uh, everything we talked about, everything we envisioned and and went over. So uh, it's another step coming up on Tuesday. Back to Meredith to the right. John Carlo, you talked about the environment a little bit here in in the postseason. How do you think that helps fuel you guys? Um, well, it's uh, the intimidation factor. They're they're they they're no easy task for for an, a road team to come in and and be comfortable. So. Uh, that's that's the idea, you know. You don't want to be comfortable. You don't want them to get any momentum, and uh, uh, they just they make it so tough to to come back when they get down. And um, pretty sure, pretty sure the incident was with them uh, earlier this year too. So uh, that wasn't uh, wasn't ideal, but it's still part of the. Of the thought process and um, what well, what they have to go through to, to come through us. All the way in the back, we'll take a couple more. Nate, John Carlo, how do the experiences of the the last few years, making it to the postseason, but not you know reaching your ultimate goal, 
how do those factor into to this postseason, whether it's, you know, just lessons learned from those experiences or added motivation, that sort of thing? Yeah, a little bit of everything. The you, you never want um the that that's the worst time to to have just lost and have to sit in the clubhouse and you know, go over what happened and just say your goodbyes and all that and just watch watch a team you could have beaten um go on and to the next round and the next round so you know we, we've gone through that and uh we understand what's at stake and uh just what we need to do to make sure that doesn't happen max to the left john carlo it seems like matt carpenter is going to be ready to go for the alds what kind of impact do you foresee him having i've loved watching him all year and and uh He's uh he's been working his butt off to get back. Um so it's been cool to see and, and he's gonna help us tremendously uh in any aspect of what he's able to do. Um so yeah, it's gonna be cool. Eric, back to you to the right. Whatever order you guys roll out your rotation, what kind of advantage do you think that gives you going into the the first round? The the your, order your, whatever order you guys roll out your rotation, what kind of advantage do you think? that gives you guys the way they perform this year, whether it's Nestor in game one or Garrett or Severino, whatever. Yeah, they've been awesome all year. So uh, I'm confident with uh, whoever's going to be on the mound, one, two, game one, two, three, four, whatever. So uh, it's, a, it's a great group of guys, and, and they're fired up and ready to go. Take a last one, Dan, to the right. Do you think uh, outfield is a possibility for you at all at this playoffs or uh, strictly DH? Uh, whatever is going to help the team the most. Um, he mentioned Carpenter uh, coming back. I, you know, he can't uh, can't envision straight from a broken foot going to the outfield. So if if that's um, something that that's going to work out and and make us the best complete team, then um, definitely have to take a look at it. And you'll do some work out there just to see how you feel, or do you even yeah. need to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, G, thank you for the time. We'll